What is backflow? In its simplest terms, backflow is the unwanted reverse flow of fluids, gases, or other substances in a plumbing system that's caused by either a back pressure or a back siphon situation. When we think about plumbing in your home, we expect water to flow in one direction. It enters through your main, travels through your pipes, and exits through your faucet. But what if I told you water doesn't always travel in the correct direction? And now the question, how does that happen? Backflow can happen for various reasons, such as sudden changes in a system water pressure, burst pipes, or when a high demand for water in one area creates a temporary vacuum in another part of the system. And there are two types of backflow back pressure and back siphonage. Back pressure occurs when the downstream water pressure of a non-potable system surpasses the pressure of the water distribution lines containing potable water. Back siphonage occurs when normal flow is reversed because of a negative pressure in a piping system. So okay, for a host of reasons, the flow in your pipes can change direction. That makes sense. But why is that such a big deal? Cross connections. Cross connections refers to any point in a plumbing system where it's possible for a non-potable substance to come in contact with your potable drinking water. A common cross connection we can all relate to is using a submerged garden hose to fill a pool. If the pressure were to drop while it's filling up, that submerged hose turns into a straw and starts sucking the water back into the potable water supply. Other examples include irrigation systems, toilets, fire sprinkler systems, heating systems, boilers, water heaters. If it can connect to the potable water, they all present a possible cross connection. And the danger is, any one of these sources could put non-potable water back into your drinking water, which poses a significant health risk. Remember, in a plumbing system, we're all connected. Your pipes connect to your neighbor's pipes, which might connect to an industrial plant across town. If a backflow incident were to occur and a non-potable substance were allowed to contaminate the drinking water supply, we'd all be at risk. 